2024, what do I want on my wish list slash goals I have for this channel and for me? So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. My name is Andrea and welcome to my channel and thanks for joining me in the babe cave and uh, I am wearing a Bucky's t-shirt because we finally have one <laughs> and uh, it's the first one in our state I believe I'm not sure anyway it's not too far and uh, if you've never seen a Bucky's you'll be in there a while and you'll end up spending so much money <laughs> Because they have a little of everything and we even bought some leather smelling wax melts <laughs> and it smells like leather in my house right now <laughs> so anyway I've done the wish list before and honestly I don't know that I got very many on the wish list so this year I'm going to say that it's a wish list and there probably will be a couple that I'll get and a few things that probably that I'll do they're more attainable you know in this economy I'm not going to be buying a bunch of luxury handbags I'm you know trying to not downsize my collection because I'm a I'm a purse addict <laughs> like a lot of you but I want to be more mindful of what I need or what I want, what I'm looking for. And, you know, sell the ones that I'm not using. That way I can keep funding. And I can't unbox every video. That's just not attainable. But here is my wish list slash goals for my channel for 2024. So This has been on my wish list for years. Since probably 2019 or 2020. And I still don't have it and I'll pop up a picture over here and it would be the Louis Vuitton Papillon 30 watercolor by Richard Prince and I have been wanting that bag since it cost a whole lot less than what it costs now unfortunately I should have grabbed it when I saw it for $800 and now you can get depending on condition around fourteen hundred dollars so i'm kicking myself for not actually doing that because i still want the bag you know sometimes your wish list you change your mind because we do that <laughs> that that is a bag that i still want in my collection so one day i will find the perfect one and i'm going to snatch it so that has been on my wish list for years Maybe this is the year, maybe it's not. This is just something that I've always wanted. The next bag that I, I have wanted a Fendi baguette, you know, with the FF print. I either want the mama baguette or I want just the regular baguette, but I just know that I would wear that bag to death and I would love it. So I want a Fendi bag and a baguette style for sure and those are reasonably priced you can get those for five to eight hundred you know depending on condition as well so I think that's an attainable goal I just you know if I find the right pattern color condition those are all things I look for and I look at these bags constantly but I still have not ever gotten one so I feel like that has definitely been on my wish list and it's still on there. Another bag would be the Gucci with the older vintage style GGs with the green and the red. I believe a green and blue or green and red stripes. Like I want an older style Gucci bag. I don't want a newer one. And... I don't know exactly what I'm looking for for Gucci, but I know I want it to be more of a vintage bag. So another bag 
which I don't know <laughs> from what brand it'll come from, but I have really been liking lavender. Like, it, I have never liked purple. Never. And I... <laughs> I ended up with a Michael Kors hobo and it was more of a purple and I traded it or I sold it. I can't remember. I traded it. <laughs> and so that color just, it was okay, but I think I want lavender. I want a, some kind of lavender handbag. I So if you have any suggestions of lavender, that's really light purple, real light um, of a bag that that you like, then put it down below. Because I'm still searching. I have not found the right purple for me. Uh, I would like to look on Fashion File for this next item. And it's the Louis Vuitton Zippy coin case. And I'll pop up the picture if you're not familiar. But I, in the monogram, I've wanted that for a long time too. They're not... They're around four to five hundred dollars, I believe. So, I don't necessarily require it or need it, but you know, it's something that I've kind of wanted for a long time. So that's on my wish list as well. Now let's get on to non-bag related wish lists. So, if you've noticed, I have several piercings. I have got my nose. I've got several ear piercings. I've got a day. I've got the tragus, I've got cartilage. So I want to add a couple more piercings, but I don't exactly know what yet, but I want at least two, maybe I'll do like a third hole. Maybe I'll do the rook, maybe, I don't know. I haven't decided on that yet, but I have always liked ear jewelry and ear piercings and and now my nose has been a year now I've had this nose ring I love it too so that would be a wish list item for sure is new piercings <laughs> I don't know if this next item exists but my favorite shoe and the easiest shoe to wear <laughs> for most of the year not necessarily for right now I want some pink light pink or pink and black hey dudes if you've never tried a hey dude shoe you need to they're amazing they're comfortable i wear the heck out of those shoes so some kind of hey dude shoe and trust me they are so comfortable they've got a nice cushion sole not too expensive but probably a new pair of hey dudes is in my future this one, uh, I want to explore more perfumes, and I have my signature scent, which is the light blue Dolce & Gabbana, but I want to dive into a couple of more brands and smell them on me, because everyone's chemistry, their body chemistry, your perfumes all smell different on different people, so I want to actually have maybe a couple more. Um, I've tried several new ones and uh, I'm, I'm just not sure which one yet. So I still want a nice bottle of perfume that I can interchange with other, other than my light blue. Another goal is more road trips. Um, this year I want to explore and that means driving to different locations to, to see the sights in the United States. Um, I don't know how, where I want to go or, you know, I've, I've been to several places, but I want to go a little bit further and that's a little harder when you have three dogs. I used to have four and if you hadn't heard one of mine, we had to put down Lily. So we have three dogs, so it makes it a little harder to travel, um, as much as I would like, but small road trips are always on the docket. So probably birthdays and anniversaries, we'll get out of get out of town. So that's my goal, to do more of those. And this is kind of a goal, because I notice other YouTubers have met up with each other, and that would be a fun little road trip to meet up with some fellow YouTubers that I have 
grown to grown a friendship with that we'd meet up because we are all like minded. We all like handbags. <laughs> so it'd be fun to meet some of them in person. And there are a few that are kind of close to me that I wouldn't mind, you know, going to the mall or, you know, going where they live, you know, it's, you know, that's just a, eventually I would like to meet. And also it'd be neat if someone actually saw me out <laughs> and recognized me from my channel, that would be a, a goal, but highly unlikely. <laughs> and this is a goal of getting to 2000 subscribers by the end of the year. That is a big goal. I'm at 1460 right now, 1460 right now. I think it's an attainable goal. So if you're watching this, then subscribe, get me to that goal. So 2000 is my goal by the end of 2024. And I think it's attainable. And uh, I hope you do too and hit that button. <laughs> so that is, that is all of my wish list slash goals for my channel, for me, for handbags. <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know what your goals are. Do you have wish list bags that you're thinking about buying for 2024? Let me know, let me know down below. And thank you for coming by and watching my videos and I appreciate all of you coming and subscribing and commenting. I like the engagement on my channel. If you didn't notice, I always respond to your comments. <laughs> and uh, again, thank you. And until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.